What's going on guys? Welcome to a new episode of Wizland with Wiz. Uh, happy to be with you guys today. So you already read the title of the video, so we are going to dive right into it. 2023, everyone is excited about it. Every single year is the same thing where everyone feels excited about the new year upcoming. Um, and to be honest with you guys, it's a good thing, man. It's a good thing that you're looking forward to a new year. Uh, for me, uh, I always see it as a reset because um, it's a new year that I'm allowed to live, uh, that I'm grateful for another year of life, for, that I'm grateful for another year that I get to spend with the people that I want to be around with, um, my mom, my siblings, um, other family members and things of that nature. So I get it. 2023, perfect. New year, new me is the same old, same old. But reality is, if you don't do what you say you're going to do, nothing will change. It's as simple as that. You can plan all the goals you want of life. Uh, you want. You can plan all the things that you want out of life. Uh, but when it comes to it, after the first week of New Year, after that whole hype about the New Year goes away, that's when you have to understand and you have to be able to follow through with what you stated you you were going to do just a week prior to that. January 1st, um, one of the easiest things that you can notice is that everyone is hyped for the most part because they a lot of people, the easiest thing that I always see is that a lot of people say, well, I'm a, like they say in December 25th, I, I'm a, I can't wait until January 1st so I can start going to the gym, so I can start focusing on my on my fitness, and I can really change my body. But to be honest with you guys, I learned this lesson about a year to two years ago. To be honest with you, um, if you're not already changing when you're thinking about things, um, example, if you're saying, I need to stop eating bad when you're eating bad at that moment, then you're not going to be able to sustain or really change when you're saying that you're going to change. If you're not taking action at the moment that you're thinking about changing something about your life, you're not going to be able to create real change when you're setting yourself to change. Um, the reason is because you, you, you haven't, created the discipline, you haven't created the focus, you haven't created the willpower that it takes for you to stay committed and do things and change things when things are not easy. And that's one thing, that's one of the main things that I noticed about myself. I want to, I, I want every single year, I would say I, I'm going to create goals, I create the goals, but nothing really changes because I'm not able to follow through the goals because I have not taken the action towards those goals. And I noticed, at least for me, I've noticed, and I, and I think that a lot of people also, when I look at other people, um, they're already starting to do the things that they're planning to do in 2023 because they're building momentum and they're building that momentum to start off the year in 2023. They're not waiting for 2023 to start what they want to do in 2023. So I don't know if I'm explaining myself, but you have to basically start whatever it is that you want to do next year about a month to two months prior. If you're not doing that, you're already behind. And I've learned that for myself. My entire life, for the most part, my entire adult life, my entire uh, young, um, uh, young adult life, every time I said I was going to do something the next year and I wasn't able to complete it was because the year prior, I wasn't already planning towards next year. I waited for the last minute to plan. There was no urgency to for me to get better it was no urgency for me to to attain the things that i didn't have there was no urgency for me to change my life at this point in my life i have so much urgency that i need to do things even if they're a week a week ahead a month ahead two months ahead it doesn't really matter i need to do them right now that was one of the main reasons i, I decided to do 75 hard that was one of the main reasons um 
committing to doing the, the entire Live Hard program. I'm doing all these different things because I am hungry to change my life. There's a reason I'm doing these videos now like at least once a day. Not because I think I'm I'm the shit. Hell no, I'm not the shit, man. Like my I still stumble on my words. But I, I told myself, you want something, you're gonna have to work your ass for it. You have to really allow yourself to develop while you're doing it. It's like you have to learn on the job compared to being prepared for the job. And a lot of people, and when I think about it, like most of my jobs have been that way. Yeah, they might give you a, a day or two of training, but usually after a day or two, they expect you to already be competent enough to be able to start working and earn, earning your money, you know? So it's just like the same concept can be applied to you too, can be applied to anything you have in life. Don't wait for the last minute. Start right now. Don't wait until January 1st at midnight to when you really more than likely are, you're going to start drinking you're going to even forget about your goals because you're drinking, you're having fun, you're you're welcoming the new year. And now you're going to be have a hangover in a couple of hours. Then you're going to start January 1st drunk. And then maybe you don't go work the next day, so you're going to chill. So you're already starting the the year in a bad in a bad note without realizing. And the thing is that that's the that's maybe the 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 standard that a lot of people have, so you don't really even notice how, how you're starting your year because that has become the norm in your life. There's every year I see a lot of people. And I mean, for the, I, I can't remember the last time that I drank in a holiday. I can't, I really can't. As an adult, I probably maybe did that once if that, and it's just like, it's not that I feel that I'm better than anyone. I just feel that that's not me. I don't, I don't need to be drawn to have fun. I don't need to be drunk to 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 um to to really enjoy what these holidays mean, you know? When I was younger, I was naive, I was stupid, I didn't care, I was irresponsible. And I already went through that phase anyway. So it's just like, why as an adult, why am I gonna continue to do the things that I did when I was younger, you know? Shit, I, I started drinking when I was 18, 19, 20, 21. At the age of 22 to 23, that's when I start calm, calm down. I started to calm down with me drinking, with me going out, with me smoking weed, with me doing things that I shouldn't have been doing. And, and after that, it's just like, it hasn't really been a thing for me. I already went through that. Um, so sometimes when I see adults around my age or just adults that are maybe older and they don't have their shit together, but they always drink or they always like into partying and stuff. Like, I don't understand why they do it. Um, I understand. I, I understand if the person is happy, if they don't, if they don't have any issues financially and things of that nature. But if they're not financially happy, and they still go through those things, like I tell myself, why would you do that to yourself? You still have not earned the right to do those things for you. Water break. So that's my main thing, man. Like, if you're thinking about waiting until January 1st to start changing, you're thinking about life the wrong way. January 1st could be easily April 1st. It could be easily December 1st. It could be, it could have been any other day. You're the, you're just allowing and giving yourself an excuse based on a popular belief that, yeah, January 1st is the new year for you to start something that you could have just started today. You know, and, and that's one of the main things that I've learned is like sometimes days, yeah, it's good to have holidays. It's good to to kind of know when there's Valentine's Day, when there's Christmas Day, when there's your birthday. Like I, those days are okay. But don't you think it's better for you to actually choose the days that you want to celebrate? Don't you think it's better to actually have a choice of the days that you want to do things when you want to do them? at least have that freedom instead of being told that this is the day that you're you're supposed to start, that this is when you need to start. So that's just a, a, a thought process. Is One of the things that I've thought as I've gotten older is just like, yeah, I'm grateful. Okay, January 1st, I'm grateful for a new year. Yeah, like the year's changed. Like it's no longer 22, it's 23 now. 
but nothing really has changed because I really, all I'm using this is to allow myself to have and look forward to the new year and push even harder to make things happen, to, to really get better and compare myself to last year and, and just have like a metric for me to compare myself with, you know, like if in 2023, I'm not where I need to be based on what I did last year, then there's something wrong. I need, I need to reevaluate what I'm doing. I need to reevaluate my choices and I have to adjust at that very moment when I realize that. So that's all I do uh, when, when it comes to years and, and when it comes to January 1st, like my goals are already set. I'm not, I'm not thinking about what, what, what are my goals for, for next year? I already know my goals, you know? So it's just like right now, is a great time for you to understand that, yeah, it's still not January 1st, but that doesn't mean that you have to wait until January 1st to start doing the things that you want to do next year. So, yeah, guys, I, always, I just want to share that message because I do believe and I do wish that uh, some people like around me would have told me that or at least had someone in my life that would have told me, like, you don't have to wait to 2020, like, you don't have to wait until the new year for you to start doing things differently. And I think that when we're younger, uh, we are like, unless somebody tell us or unless somebody in our lives does things differently, you you get involved in what the entire population does for the most part. So everybody's talking about new goals, new resolutions and all these things. When in reality, like you should already been thinking about those things two months ago when nobody's talking about it. Because what that means is that you already have a goal, you have a mindset, you're a person with a goal, you're a, per you're a, person, you're a person that is living with intention. You have, uh, you have a, a map that you're, going, that you're trying to, to use to get to a destination compared to just having like, just making up something at the end of the year just because it's January 1st in a couple of hours. So yeah, guys. Um, I hope you have a, an amazing day um, and I hope you actually start doing the things. If you're watching this, man, change your life, uh, change your habits. I think that that's one of the main reasons I'm doing this because I want to force myself to grow through putting myself in the hot seat by doing these damn videos. Because if I'm doing the videos, I'm actually keeping track of what I'm doing, keeping track of what I'm saying, keeping track... And, and I can come back to this in a week from now. Be like, okay, well, you were saying this. Why the fuck are you not doing what you're saying you're doing? So if it does happen that way, I can put myself back on check and just rectify my own path, you know? And I think that that's the best thing that I can tell you. If you have something to say, say it. Get a damn camera. Get two cameras. Get three It doesn't matter. I'm doing these on phones. You know, so you have to understand that nowadays there's no excuses. You don't need a badass camera to do content. If you have something to say, if you have to, if you have something to share, and that is genuine, that is you, that is is good for anyone. And, and that's the thing. I don't expect nothing, but I'm gonna keep doing this because I do think that one day it's gonna be, not only benefit myself, but it's gonna benefit the people around me. Because it's going to show me, and I want to be able to see this too. I want to be able to see this when I'm 20 years older. I want to be able to see this when I'm 50 years older. I want to be able to come back and live where my mindset was when I was that age. And the best way to do it is to create content. So yeah, guys, hope you have an amazing day. And I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Peace.